Hey folks, Moose here. Thanks for uh, checking out my, my channel. I hope you remember to comment, like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell in the corner. That way you get notified every time I put out a new video. I've been trying to crank out a bunch more good material for you folks. And right now I want to show you what I have that I'm going to be working with in the next few videos. Alright, so last fall I got a bunch of telecom stuff, a whole bunch of boxes of just all kinds of random things from office phones to you know, little uh, display extensions, random uh, boards that go into you know, like telephone hubs or whatever they're called. I'm not, a, I'm not an expert, I just take this stuff apart. Um, software cartridges and a bunch of other things. So this is all stuff that I posted everything for sale on eBay and I let it sit there for well, almost a year. Um, and this is the stuff that didn't sell. If I can't make at least 10 bucks profit on it, I'm not going to bother putting on eBay. I'm just going to scrap it out. So, what you can expect coming. Uh, in this video, we're going to be doing office phones. So I'm going to take apart six of them. Uh, that they're all a little bit different, so that we can kind of get a, a view of you know, what's inside most office phones. Um, and then, after that, you know, there'll be a video on you know, the headsets, uh, little pagers and the software cartridges and then you know, the rest of the stuff that, that I've got. So stay tuned and let's take apart some bones. Alright, so let's start off with this one right here. Uh, first and foremost, all these phones, a lot of them come with um, these types of wires and these wires are going to be low grade. Um, the connectors will have some gold plating in them. It's, it's tiny, it's hard to get out. Um, I actually have a video on how I pulled them out of like a, a LAN cable uh, or an Ethernet cable. It's the same thing. Um, but it's, in my opinion, probably not worth it because you need a lot of a lot of that stuff to really make much gold. Alright, so let's flip this over. I already took the liberty of taking some screws out. So this phone I like. It's pretty nice. It's, uh, it's a phone from the 80s. So we've got uh, a lot of nice you know, ceramic CPUs in here. We've got some EEPROMs. Um, now I, I've looked at these EEPROMs and I've taken the, the sticker off so I can see the little quartz um, display window. And the EEPROMs that you really want are the ones that if you look inside you can actually see gold plating. With these you can't. So you know, the wires are probably likely aluminum or something. Um, but that doesn't mean there's not any precious metals in there, just that there's not much. So, I'm still going to take them out, just pry them off. If you can see that little window on there, that's where you, you look inside to see you know, if you've got the good EEPROMs or the bad EEPROMs. Now, I've also got this long ceramic chip here, which has a different name. Uh, I'm not sure if it's an electrical erasable programmable pro blah, 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 blah. some of these I mean like with this one the way they they program it is um, they shine a UV light on that little window and it erases whatever is on there and then they reprogram it um, some of them they uh, use an electrical pulse or something to erase them but whatever it's still an EEPROM so pulling these things off now there's, there's a couple, there's three more ceramics, uh, yeah, three more ceramics on here. Uh, so there's that one, uh, there's this one, and that one. Those I'm going to pull off as well, but I'm going to wait till all the rest of the board is clean. Oops. some other goodies in here that I want to point out as well. Wait till I'm done being noisy with the drill here. Alright, Always screws hiding somewhere. I got my little flush cutters here. I love these things. Ooh, lovely. All right. Just a few little wires 
wires here. Not much for wire in here, which I guess is fine. All right. So a few more things to to point out on here. Um, let's see if we can get tight on the board. All right. So we've got all of these IC chips now. Not every IC chip contains gold, but a lot of them do. And because these epoxy ones are so easy to process, um, you're better off just taking them all and you know letting the uh, incineration and other processes sort them out. <clears throat> now on this board as well, now, I'm not an electronics expert by all means, and I don't really know a whole lot really. <laughs> but these things right here, this little orange, um, it's actually a, a tantalum capacitor. So I know that one is, and I believe this little guy over here is as well. That one's a little tantalum capacitor. And I think that these two are as well. Now there's a bunch of other things on here. I mean, there are other things that are the same color as the tantalum capacitors. I'm not quite sure what they are. Um, I've seen people collect these things as well. Uh, that looks like a, a crystal oscillator right there. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So, I mean, if you see something on this board that I'm not pointing out, by all means, put it in the comment section. Um, I don't see... I mean, there's a few tiny MLCCs over here. And that is all on a very thin piece of ceramic, which is kind of weird. See anything on the other side of that? Now we've also got um, some gold-plated pins in here. We've got gold-plated pins in that little phone jack, and gold-plated pins on this end. All right? And that looks like it's pretty much going to be it for this board. Now, the board that was underneath it. This looks pretty nice because we've got um, so we've got a whole bunch of these nice IC chips over here. Um, we've got a few little monolithic ceramic capacitors. We've got some gold flashing, but this board is, this phone was made in the 80s, so that flashing is, is I, I'd be willing to bet, is going to be thicker than normal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend all these little tabs, see if I can get this off, see what's on the other side, because there's also that little LCD display on the other side. We want to take a look at that. Snip off that wire while we're here. Alright, working our way around. Sometimes these things are annoying, but you know. Price we pay to chase the gold. Mm -hmm. Lots of little pieces of wire. All right. Now I just gotta get some of these little screws out. I'm hoping I don't have to take all of them out. Maybe just uh, yeah, probably. So here we go. Finally got enough screws to pull that out of. So again, looking on this side, um, we've got you know a lot of glow, gold flashing here and there and everywhere, um, and we've got this LCD display on the other side. Now looking at this, I can see there's a ribbon here. This looks. This looks like it has silver in it. 
it looks just like, a, like the mylar found in keyboards. Uh, I'm not 100% certain, but that's, to me that's what it looks like. Uh, but it looks like it's totally encased, so it would be very difficult to get to. Uh, but we've got some more gold plating along this edge here. So, let's see if we can take the rest off. It's almost like caulking. Okay, so the screen is off, and yep, there is a whole bunch more gold plating on that side of the board, so that's nice. And then we've got this big old LCD display. Um, and that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. So this one, it's rather heavy glass, and I've been told that um, very soon... Uh, there's uh, an element in these things, I believe it's called indium, uh, that's going to become you know, valuable enough that they're going to start looking to reclaim it from these LCD displays, even though they have very little in them. Uh, so I'm going to start holding on to these. Alright, so for that first phone, um, it turned out to be a pretty nice one. So we've got you know, a little bit of wire, some nice ceramic CPUs, or, sorry, little ceramic IC chips, a um, bunch of nice gold plating, some other bunch of IC chips to pull off so we can incinerate, a few more ceramics I gotta pull off carefully. And that's it for that first phone. On to the next. All right, so this is the next phone. Pull these up quick. Let's see if I got them all. Yeah, I missed one. Always one screw. Always. All right. So nothing on the back of that, but plastic. <clears throat> and that's plastic. Wow, this looks very different. There's a lot less in here. So, we've got what looks to be some kind of mylar. Yeah, I see some silver tracing in there. Um, and that little, little LCD. All right, now what you're gonna wanna do, I believe in most cases, um, you wanna get that little circuit board off because there should be some, some gold plating on that. It often is. And yep, no oh, beautiful gold plating. Some nice gold plating on that, and that um, that glob in the middle that can be treated like an IC chip. There's going to be like gold bonding wires in there. So that's nice. And this. Um, so unlike keyboard mylars, where the silver is kind of exposed and there's like multiple layers of mylars, this is like all in one, so I'm not quite sure how that silver would be recovered, but I will put it aside. Same with the LCD display. Alright, so we've got looks like a little microphone, not usually a whole lot in those speaker which is just steel and a nice little magnet on the back <clears throat> and this is it this is all we need for a board out of this one it's uh, much less exciting I should say so on this we just have looks like a couple of IC chips crystal oscillator 
Uh, some tiny tantalum capacitors, some gold-plated pins there, ID, IDE pins and some gold-plated pins in those phone line jacks. Um, and that's pretty much it. There's nothing on the back. There's no gold plating. You know, just a little wire. And that's it. Huh. Disappointing. Alright. Okay, on to the next one. Alright, so this one should be easy to take apart. Alright, so this one should be easy to take apart. This one says made in Mexico. So, I don't see a year or anything on it. Oh, 2003. So chances are, eh, probably won't be a whole heck of a lot in there. Well, definitely more than the last one. Not much, but more. Alright, so we still have the same speaker. Just put a little magnet on it. A little microphone here, same as the other one. Tiny bit of wire. A small circuit board that has some gold plating on the back. It's kind of hard to see over there because I just ripped off that, uh, that ribbon that goes to the keypad. So this just has you know some IC chips. Again, some little tiny. Uh, tantalum capacitors, nice big quad pack there. That's looks like one of those RAM memory chips, so that might be a good one. Uh, some gold plating in the phone jacks, the IDE pins. And that's it. So now let's look at what's under that. More of the same. So we've got more of that almost identical kind of mylar. And more of that silver mylar type wire. And a very stubborn LCD screen. There it is. Alright, so add that to the LCDs. And pull that speaker out later. Moving along, we've got this one. So, and the headsets. Um, there's really not a whole heck of a lot in these things. Um, you're going to find you know, a little bit of gold plated pins in there. Uh, there's, they usually put a little chunk of zinc or some other kind of metal in here. A cheap metal to give it some weight so it stays on the receiver. You're not going to find much else in there. Maybe some tiny wire, but that's, that's about it. Right. And again, with this wire, this is the really cheap communications grade wire. Of course, talk to your scrap yard first, find out what they take, how they take, and how much they pay for it. The screw game, did I win? Did I get them all? Nope, I didn't. Of course not. That would have been easy. Yeah, I got them. Alright, so these phones are really not improving very much. Um, more of the same. So that first one was kind of a fluke. 
Must have been just because it was older or something. Um, all right, so this is a totally different kind of keypad as well. It doesn't have the silver mylar, although there is a little one for the side one, which doesn't really make much sense, but okay. Show a little LCD screen there. The tiniest bit of wire. So this circuit board, um, you know, much the same, except this one has a lot more monolithic ceramic capacitors. Um, and with today's palladium prices, that could be that could be a good thing. So some more ICs, crystal oscillators, um, tantal capacitors there, and a random chunk of something. I have no idea what that is. But. And we've got gold-plated pins in the phone jacks. And it's got a really nice dark yellow color to it, so that's probably some good plating. And it goes all the way down. So. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like those. Those are well plated. So I will be pulling those off. Alright. And the top LCD screen, again, has another one of those. It's more that like silver wire and the LCD with that little plastic that little circuit board that I can see from here has some gold flashing on it so definitely want to be able to get that off Just need to be able to prime somehow without breaking it. Oh, easy. Alright. So, again, we've got uh, that another little board with uh, the gold plating. That little thing that can be treated like an IC chip. Uh, yeah, throw that to the side. And one more phone to go. All right, last one. Yeah, my driver doesn't reach. That's a nice one. I like that. All right. So right off the bat, you see what hits? See what? Hit, see what I saw? This right here. If you get in on there. That's a ceramic CPU with a gold top. That's nice. I like that. Yep. So looks like you know two out of what, the six phones that I had um, were pretty decent. Yep, some nice. Gold plated pins on the end of that. Alright, let's keep digging in this thing.
So again, if you're taking these apart to uh, make money on the wire, you're not gonna. It's not gonna happen. <coughs> it's just not gonna happen. There's very, very little wire in here, which you know, probably not gonna do anyway. So. All right. That goes to recycling. Oh, look at all the different little LCD screens here. Bunch of tiny little ones. Off over there with those. Pull that off. Oh, no gold plating there, unfortunately. I don't think I've ever seen um, a phone like this that had a plating like uh, cell phones. It'd be cool, but I don't think I've ever seen it. <coughs> I have seen like um, cordless phones that have the gold plated keypad, but I've not seen any of these yet. All right, so let's take these apart and see what we've got. So again, on this one, it looks like we've got uh, some IC chips. That's another ceramic one there. Uh, da -da -da -da, a few little monolithic ceramic capacitors. Let's see, a lot of these resistors and stuff. I know that some, some may have precious metals in them, but to figure out which ones would be quite laborious. Um, these, I'm not quite sure if these are tantalum capacitors as well. They may be. Um, so what I'll do is I will go on Facebook. <coughs> and there's a group called E-Waste and Precious Metal Refining. Um, and I'll see if I can put a link to that in the video. But that's a great place to ask questions. There's a, a lot of good, knowledgeable people. Geo is there. Um, he's one of the, the YouTubers that I really look up to as far as like gold recovery and stuff. All right, so this other one. Looks like we've got crystal oscillator, crystal oscillator. Uh, some gold plating in there, some gold plating in that little socket. Some IC chips, of course. There as well, some gold plating in there, and again, these may be tantalum capacitors. I'm not quite sure. I know these are just aluminum kind of junky capacitors, but the star of this show is that CPU right there. That is pretty. I'm gonna have to heat the back with a torch to or a heat gun to soften the solder to be able to pull it off. But all the legs are all gold plated underneath. Um, I mean, it's tiny. It's only about an inch, inch by an inch. But I don't get, I don't come by ceramic CPUs very often, or IC chips for that matter. All right. So that's it for the office phones. Um, you know, not uh, some of them. That, I mean, you can get something as rinky dink as this. Or one with this much cool stuff in it. So you kind of never know until you crack it open. So keep that in mind. And I, I think generally, though, the older ones are going to have you know better yields, of course. You know, um, I think that probably goes without saying. But so yeah, I think that's it. So thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell so that you get notified every time I put out a new video. And see you on the next one.